This is the history of science and technology in Japan. Topic: <laughs> Pre-modern Japan. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Abacus. The Soroban is an abacus calculator developed in medieval Japan. It is derived from the ancient Chinese Suanpan, imported to Japan in the 14th century. <inaudible> Astronomy Edo and Meiji era Japan saw intense engagement with European astronomy that fed into its present day strength in rocket science. European texts on astronomy were among the first to be allowed in Japan, because all references to Christianity were expunged. The Japanese editions of these works were among the first to apply methodological naturalism. The Japanese were impressed by the accuracy of Western astronomical models, this led further books to be imported beginning in 1720 under Shogun Tokugawa Yoshimune. Among the first changes to Japanese culture in the Edo period due to the introduction of Western astronomy was the adoption of a variation of the Gregorian calendar, due to its superiority at predicting eclipses. Later, Western astronomical observations and methods were integrated with philology and political science to synthesize a conception of Shinto as astronomical science in the Kokugaku movement, which played a major role in the Meiji state. The Meiji government educationally promoted up-to-date astronomy through textbooks and cultural campaigns. Through these endeavors, astronomy emerged as a topic of study in Japanese universities that persists to this day. Automata <inaudible> 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 Karakuri puppets are traditional Japanese mechanized puppets or automata, originally made from the 17th century to the 19th century. The word karakuri means, mechanisms, or trick. The doll's gestures provided a form of entertainment. Three main types of karakuri exist. Butai karakuri, wutai karakuri, stage karakuri were used in theater. Zashiki karakuri, zaofu karakuri, tatami room karakuri were small and used in homes. Dashi karakuri, shanche karakuri, festival ka karakuri were used in religious festivals, where the puppets were used to perform reenactments of traditional myths and legends. The Japanese craftsman Hisashiga Tanaka, known as Japan's Edison created an array of extremely complex mechanical toys, some of which were capable of serving tea, firing arrows drawn from a quiver, or even painting a Japanese kanji character. The landmark text Karakuri Zui illustrated machinery was published in 1796. Clocks <laughs> 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 The myriad year clock was a universal clock designed by the Japanese inventor Hisashiga Tanaka in 1851. It belongs to the category of Japanese clocks called wodoke. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fiction. Some classical Japanese literature contain elements of science fiction. The Japanese tale of Urashima Taro involves time travel to a distant future, and was first described in the Nihongi 720. It has been identified as one of the first examples of a story involving time travel. The 10th century Japanese narrative, The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, is also considered proto-science fiction. A manuscript illustration, for example, depicts a round flying machine similar to a flying saucer. The Tale of Genji, written by Lady Murasaki Shikibu in 11th century Japan, has often been considered the first psychological novel. Topic: Mathematics. <laughs> 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 In 1683, Kai Fukudai no Ho, Seiki came up with elimination theory, based on resultant. To express resultant, he developed the notion of determinant. Determinants were introduced to study elimination of variables in systems of higher order algebraic equations. They were used to give shorthand representation for the resultant. 
The determinant as an independent function was first studied by Seiki Koa in 1683. Bernoulli numbers were studied by Seiki Koa and published after his death, in 1712. Jacob Bernoulli independently developed the concept in the same period, but this work was published a year later, in 1713. Medicine Pottery Jomon pottery is a type of ancient pottery which was made during the Jomon period in Japan. The term, Jomon, shengwen means, rope patterned, in Japanese, describing the patterns that are pressed into the clay. The pottery vessels crafted in ancient Japan during the Jomon period are generally accepted to be the oldest pottery in Japan. Bits of pottery discovered in a cave in the northwest coast of modern-day Kyushu date back to as far as 12,700 BC in radiometric dating tests. It is believed by many that Jomon pottery was probably made even earlier than this date. However, due to ambiguity and multiple sources claiming different dates based on different dating techniques, it is difficult to say for sure how far back Jomon pottery was made. Some sources claim archaeological discoveries as far back as the 14th millennium BCE. Imari porcelain is a type of Japanese porcelain made in the town of Arita, Saga. It was widely exported from the port of Imari, Saga, to Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries. Topic: <laughs> Modern Science. In the natural sciences, the number of Japanese winners of the Nobel Prize has been second only to the United States in the 21st century, for contributions made in the 20th century. On the list of countries by research and development spending, Japan is third on the list, behind the United States and China. Chemistry <laughs> <laughs> Frontier Molecular Orbital Theory In 1952, Kenichi Fukui published a paper in the Journal of Chemical Physics titled, A Molecular Theory of Reactivity in Aromatic Hydrocarbons. He later received the 1981 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his investigations into the mechanisms of chemical reactions, with his prize winning work focused on the role of frontier orbitals in chemical reactions, specifically that molecules share loosely bonded electrons which occupy the frontier orbitals, that is, the highest occupied molecular orbital and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. Chirally catalyzed hydrogenation Ryoji Noyori was awarded the 2001 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on chirally catalyzed hydrogenation reactions in 1968. Proteins and enzymes in the 1960s and 1970s, green fluorescent proteins GFP, along with the separate luminescent protein equorin an enzyme that catalyzes the breakdown of luciferin, releasing light, was first purified from Equoria Victoria and its properties studied by Asamu Shimomura. He was awarded the 2008 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery and development of the green fluorescent protein, GFP. Koichi Tanaka was awarded the 2003 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the development of soft laser desorption, "...methods for identification and structure analyses of biological macromolecules", and for "...soft desorption ionization methods for mass spectrometric analyses of biological macromolecules". In 1987, he demonstrated that laser pulses could blast apart large protein molecules so that ions in gaseous form are produced. Conductive polymers Hideki Shirakawa was awarded the 2000 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, "...for the discovery and development of conductive polymers". Mathematics <laughs> 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 In the 1930s, while studying switching circuits, NEC engineer Akira Nakashima independently discovered Boolean algebra, which he was unaware of until 1938. 
In a series of papers published from 1934 to 1936, he formulated a two-valued Boolean algebra as a way to analyze and design circuits by algebraic means in terms of logic gates. Topic: <laughs> Medicine. In a landmark series of experiments beginning in 1976, Susumu Tongawa showed that genetic material can rearrange itself to form the vast array of available antibodies. He later received the 1987 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his discovery of the genetic principle for generation of antibody diversity. Topic: Physics. <laughs> 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 Particle physics Hideki Yukawa predicted the existence of mesons in 1934, for which he later received the 1949 Nobel Prize in Physics. Yoichiro Nambu was awarded the 2008 Nobel Prize in Physics for his 1960 discovery of the mechanism of spontaneous broken symmetry in subatomic physics, related at first to the strong interactions chiral symmetry, chiral symmetry breaking, and later to the electroweak interaction and Higgs mechanism. The bottom quark is is a product in almost all top quark decays, and is a frequent decay product for the Higgs boson. The bottom quark was theorized in 1973 by physicists Makoto Kobayashi and Toshihide Maskawa to explain CP violation. Toshihide Maskawa and Makoto Kobayashi's 1973 article, CP violation in the renormalizable theory of weak interaction is the fourth most cited high-energy physics paper of all time as of 2010. They discovered the origin of the explicit breaking of CP symmetry in the weak interactions. The Kabibo kobayashi maskawa matrix, which defines the mixing parameters between quarks, was the result of this work. Kobayashi and Maskawa were awarded the 2008 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of the origin of the broken symmetry which predicts the existence of at least three families of quarks in nature." Quantum physics Leo Isaki was awarded the 1973 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of electron tunneling, quantum tunneling in the 1950s. The tunnel diode, Isaki diode was invented in August 1957 by Leo Isaki, Yuriko Kuros and Takashi Suzuki when they were working at Tokyo Sushin Kogyo, now Sony. Shinichiro Tomonaga was awarded the 1965 Nobel Prize in Physics for his "...fundamental work in quantum electrodynamics, with deep plowing consequences for the physics of elementary particles." Astrophysics Masatoshi Kashiba was awarded the 2002 Nobel Prize in Physics, "...for pioneering contributions to astrophysics, in particular for the detection of cosmic neutrinos." In the 1980s, he conducted pioneering work on solar neutrino detection, and Kashiba's work also resulted in the first real-time observation of neutrinos from the SN1987A supernova. These efforts marked the beginning of neutrino astronomy. Topic: Psychology. The Rashomon effect is where the same event is given contradictory interpretations by different individuals involved. The concept originates from Akira Kurosawa's 1950 film Rashomon, in which a murder is described in four mutually contradictory ways by its four witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Modern technology In terms of the number of patents filed annually, Japan is second only to the United States. In terms of patents published per capita, Japan has the highest in the world, ahead of South Korea and the United States. Since the 20th century, Japan has played an important role in the digital revolution and the information age. Audio <inaudible> 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 Digital audio commercial digital recording was pioneered by NHK and Nippon Columbia, also known as Denon, in the 1960s. 
The first commercial digital recordings were released in 1971. In 1967, the first PCM pulse code modulation recorder was developed by NHK's research facilities in Japan. In 1969, NHK expanded PCM's capabilities to two-channel stereo and 32 kHz 13-bit resolution. In January 1971, using NIS PCM recording system, engineers at Denon recorded the first commercial digital recordings, including Uzu, The World of Stomu Yamashita 2 by Stomu Yamashita, Compact Disc Digital Audio CDDA, also called Red Book, was an audio format developed by Sony and Philips in 1980, and commercially introduced with their Compact Disc CD format in 1982. Speech Synthesizer 1968, the first text-to-speech synthesis system was developed by Noriko Amida's team at Japan's Electrotechnical Laboratory. Direct Drive Turntable A direct drive turntable was invented by Shuichi Obata, an engineer at Matusta now Panasonic, based in Osaka, Japan. It eliminated the belts of older belt drive turntables, and instead employed a motor to directly drive a platter on which a vinyl record rests. In 1969, Matusta released it as the SP-10, the first direct drive turntable on the market, and the first in their Technics series of turntables. This gave rise to turntablism, with the most influential turntable being the Technics SL-1200, released in 1972 and remaining the most widely used turntable in DJ culture for the next several decades. DJ turntablism has origins in the invention of direct drive turntables. Early belt drive turntables were unsuitable for turntablism, since they had a slow start-up time, and they were prone to wear and tear and breakage, as the belt would break from backspinning or scratching. In 1972, Technics started making their SL1200 turntable, which became the most popular turntable for DJs due to its high torque direct drive design. Hip-hop DJs began using the Technics SL-1200s as musical instruments to manipulate records with turntablism techniques such as scratching and beat juggling rather than merely mixing records. In 1975, hip-hop DJ Gron Wizard Theodore invented the scratching technique by accident. He developed the technique while experimenting with a Technics SL-1200 turntable, finding that its direct drive motor would continue to spin at the correct RPM even if the DJ wiggled the record back and forth on the platter. Although Technics stopped producing the SL-1200 in 2010, they remain the most popular DJ turntable due to their high build quality and durability. The SL-1200 evolved into the SL-1200 MK2 in 1979—which, as of the early 2010s, remains an industry standard for DJing. Walkman The Walkman prototype was built in 1978 by audio division engineer Nobutoshi Kihara for Sony co-founder Masaru Ibuka. Ibuka wanted to be able to listen to operas during his frequent trans-Pacific plane trips, and presented the idea to Kihara. The Walkman was commercially released in 1979. Automobiles KEI cars are a category of small automobiles invented in Japan, including passenger cars, vans, and pickup trucks. They are designed to exploit local tax and insurance relaxations, and in more rural areas are exempted from the requirement to certify that adequate parking is available for the vehicle. Calculators <coughs> 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 Electric calculators The world's first all-electric compact calculator was the Casio Computer Company's Model 14A, released in 1957. The first electronic desktop calculator with on-board memory was the Casio 001, released in 1965. In 1967, Casio released the AL-1000, the world's first programmable desktop calculator. Large Scale Integration LSI, the Sharp QT8D, a desktop calculator released in 1969, was the first calculator to have its logic circuitry entirely implemented with LSI Large Scale Integration Integrated Circuits ICs based on MOS Metal Oxide Semiconductor technology. 
Upon its introduction, it was one of the smallest electronic calculators ever produced commercially. Portable calculators The first portable calculators appeared in Japan in 1970, and were soon marketed around the world. These included the Sanyo ICC 0081, mini calculator, the Canon Pocketronic, and the Sharp QT 8B. Micro -compet. In January 1971, the Sharp L8 was close to being a pocket calculator, weighing about one pound, with a vacuum fluorescent display (VFD) and rechargeable nickered batteries. The L8 was the first battery-powered handheld calculator. The concept of a single-chip calculator was conceived by Sharp engineer Tadashi Sasaki in 1968. The first truly pocket-sized electronic calculator was the Busycom LE120A. Handy. The first single-chip calculator to be built, released in February 1971. The Busycom 141 PF desktop calculator, released in March 1971, was the first computing machine to use a microprocessor, the 4-bit Intel 4004, co-designed by Busycom's Masato Shishima. LCD calculators In 1971, Tadashi Sasaki began research on the use of LCD displays for calculators at Sharp Corporation. In 1973, Sharp commercially introduced the first LCD calculators. Cameras <coughs> 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 Analog cameras The Sahiflex 2, released by Asahi Pentax in 1954, was the world's first single-lens reflex camera, SLR camera with an instant return mirror. In 1967, Sony unveiled the PortaPak, the first self-contained videotape analog recording system that was portable. On 25 August 1981, Sony unveiled a prototype of the first still video camera, the Sony Mavica. This camera was an analog electronic camera that featured interchangeable lenses and an SLR viewfinder. Digital SLR at Photokina in 1986, Nikon revealed a prototype digital still SLR camera, the Nikon SVC, the first digital SLR. The prototype body shared many features with the N8008. In 1988, Nikon released the first commercial DSLR camera, the QV1000C. The first full frame DSLR cameras were developed in Japan from around 2000 to 2002 the MZD by Pentax, the N Digital by Contax's Japanese R6D team, and the AOS 1Ds by Canon. Camcorders in 1982, JVC and Sony announced the first camcorders, as camera recorder combinations. That year, Sony released the first camcorder, the Betacam system, for professional use. In 1983, Sony released the first consumer camcorder, the Betamovie BMC100P, and JVC released the first VHSC camcorder. Camera phone in 2000, Sharp Corporation introduced the world's first camera phone, the JSH04J phone, in Japan. Topic: <laughs> Communications. Telephony in 1876, two Japanese students, Shuji Izawa and Kentero Kaneko, participated in Alexander Graham Bell's experiments with early telephony, immediately after Bell invented the telephone. According to Bell, this made Japanese the second language spoken through a telephone, after English. Optical communication While working at Tohoku University, Junichi Nishizawa proposed fiber optic communication, the use of optical fibers for optical communication, in 1963. Nishizawa invented other technologies that contributed to the development of optical fiber communications, such as the graded index optical fiber as a channel for transmitting light from semiconductor lasers. He patented the graded index optical fiber in 1964. The solid state optical fiber was invented by Nishizawa in 1964. Hardware elements providing the basis of Internet technology, the three essential elements of optical communication, were invented by Junichi Nishizawa the semiconductor laser 1957 being the light source, the graded index optical fiber 1964 as the transmission line, and the pin photodiode 1950 as the optical receiver. 
Izo Hayashi's invention of the continuous wave semiconductor laser in 1970 led directly to the light sources in fiber optic communication, commercialized by Japanese entrepreneurs, and opened up the field of optical communication, playing an important role in the communication networks of the future. Their work laid the foundations for the digital revolution and the information age. Mobile communication The first emoji was created in 1998 or 1999 in Japan by Shigetaka Karita. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Computing. Digital circuits from 1934 to 1936, NEC engineer Akira Nakashima introduced switching circuit theory in a series of papers showing that two-valued Boolean algebra, which he discovered independently, can describe the operation of switching circuits. Nakashima's switching circuit theory used digital electronics for Boolean algebraic operations. Nakashima's work was later cited and elaborated on in Claude Shannon's seminal 1938 paper, A Symbolic Analysis of Relay and Switching Circuits. Nakashima laid the foundations for digital system design with his switching circuit theory, using a form of Boolean algebra as a way to analyze and design circuits by algebraic means in terms of logic gates. His switching circuit theory provided the mathematical foundations and tools for digital system design in almost all areas of modern technology, and was the basis for digital electronics and computer theory. Nakashima's work on switching circuit theory was further advanced by Claude Shannon in the United States during the late 1930s to 1940s, and by Gotu Mochinori in Japan during the 1940s. The parametron was a logic circuit element invented by Aichi Gotu in 1954. It was a digital computer element. Parametrons were used in Japanese computers from 1954 to the early 1960s, such as the University of Tokyo's PC-1 built in 1958, due to being reliable and inexpensive, but were ultimately surpassed by transistors due to differences in speed. Digital Computerster ETL Mark I, Japan's first digital automatic computer, began development in 1951 and was completed in 1952. It was developed by the Electrotechnical Laboratory using relays, based on the switching circuit theory formulated by Akira Nakashima in the 1930s and advanced by Gotu Mochinori in the 1940s. Transistor Computerster ETL Mark III began development in 1954, and was completed in 1956, created by Japan's Electrotechnical Laboratory. It was the first stored program transistor computer. It used ultrasonic delay line memory. The ETL Mark III's successor, the ETL Mark IV, began development in 1956 and was completed in 1957. It was a stored program transistor computer with high-speed magnetic drum memory. A modified version of the ETL Mark IV, the ETL Mark IVa, was introduced in 1958 as a fully transistorized computer with magnetic core memory and an index register. The Mars One system was created by Mamoru Hosaka, Yutaka Ono, and others at the Railway Technical Research Institute in the 1950s, and was produced by Hitachi in 1958. It was the world's first computer reservation system for trains. The Mars One was capable of reserving seat positions, and was controlled by a transistor computer with a central processing unit consisting of a thousand transistors. It also had a 400,000-bit magnetic drum memory unit, and many registers, to indicate whether seats in a train were vacant or reserved, for communications with terminals, printing reservation notices, and court displays. The use of microprogramming in electronic transistor computers dates back to 1961, with the KT Pilot, an early microprogram controlled electronic computer developed by Kyoto University and Toshiba in Japan. Office computers Compact office computers originated from Japan in the early 1960s. While American offices at the time ran large minicomputers loaded with business applications, Japanese manufacturers invented highly compact office computers, with hardware, operating systems, peripheral devices and application development languages specifically developed for business applications, playing a big role in Japan's booming economy. 
The first office computers released in 1961, Casio's TUC Computer, NEC's NEAC 1201 Parametron computer, and Unoki Denshi Kogyo's USAC 3010. In 1967, NEC introduced the NEAC 1240, the world's first small IC integrated circuit computer. Computer Music in Japan Experiments in computer music date back to 1962, when Kyo University professor Sekine and Toshiba engineer Hayashi experimented with the TOSBAC computer. This resulted in a piece entitled TOSBAC Suite. Later Japanese computer music compositions include a piece by Kenjiro Ezeki presented during Osaka Expo 70 and Panoramic Sonore. 1974 by music critic Akimichi Takeda. Ezeki also published an article called Contemporary Music and Computers in 1970. Since then, Japanese research in computer music has largely been carried out for commercial purposes in popular music. Computer graphics Particularly well-known iconic digital computer graphics images include Running Cola is Africa, by Masao Komura and Koji Fujino, created at the Computer Technique Group, Japan, in 1967. Printister first electronic printer was the EP101, invented by Japanese company Epson and released in 1968. The world's first inkjet printer was Casio's Typewriter, released in 1971. Thermal transfer printing was invented by Sato Corporation, a Japanese company. They produced the world's first thermal transfer label printer, Sato M2311, in 1981. 4 bit microprocessors The concept of a single chip microprocessor CPU central processing unit was conceived in a 1968 meeting in Japan between sharp engineer Tadashi Sasaki and an unnamed female software engineering researcher from Nara Women's College. He discussed the concept at a brainstorming meeting that was held in Japan. Sasaki attributes the basic invention to break the chipset of a calculator into four parts with ROM 4001, RAM 4002, shift registers 4003, and CPU 4004 to an unnamed woman, a software engineering researcher from Nara Women's College, who was present at the meeting. Sasaki then had his first meeting with Noyce in 1968. Sasaki discussed the microprocessor concept with Busycom and Intel in 1968, and presented the woman's four-division chipset concept to Intel and Busycom. This provided the basis for the single-chip microprocessor design of the Intel 4004. He was also involved in the development of the Busycom 141 PF desktop calculator which led to the 4004's creation. Sasaki thus played a key role in the creation of the first microprocessor. The first commercial microprocessor, the 4 bit Intel 4004, began with the Busycom project in 1968 as Masatoshi Shima's three chip CPU design for the Busycom 141 PF calculator. In April 1968, Shima was tasked with designing a special purpose LSI chipset, along with his supervisor Tadashi Tanba, for use in the Busycom 141 PF desktop calculator. This later became known as the Busycom Project. His initial design consisted of seven LSI chips, including a three chip CPU. His design included arithmetic units, adders, multiply units, registers, read only memory, and a macro instruction set to control a decimal computer system. Busycom then wanted a general purpose LSI chipset, for not only desktop calculators, but also other equipment such as a teller machine, cash register, and billing machine. Shima thus began work on a general purpose LSI chipset in late 1968. In 1969, Busycom asked Intel, a company founded one year earlier in 1968 for the purpose of making solid state random access memory, RAM, to finalize and manufacture their calculator engine. Intel, which was more of a memory company back then, had facilities to manufacture the high density silicon gate MOS chip Busycom required. Shima went to Intel in June 1969 to present his design proposal. Due to Intel lacking logic engineers to understand the logic schematics or circuit engineers to convert them, Intel asked Shima to simplify the logic. 
Intel wanted a single chip CPU design, influenced by Sharp's Tadashi Sasaki, who presented the concept to Busycom and Intel in 1968. The single chip microprocessor design was then formulated by Intel's Marsh and Hoff in 1969, simplifying Shima's initial design down to four chips, including a single chip microprocessor CPU. Due to Hoff's formulation lacking key details, Shima came up with his own ideas to find solutions for its implementation. Shima was responsible for adding a 10-bit static shift register to make it useful as a printer's buffer and keyboard interface, many improvements in the instruction set, making the RAM organization suitable for a calculator, the memory address information transfer, the key program in an area of performance and program capacity, the functional specification, decimal computer idea, software, desktop calculator logic, real-time I.O. control, and data exchange instruction between the accumulator and general general purpose register. Hoff and Shima eventually realized the 4-bit microprocessor concept together, with the help of Intel's Stanley Marza to interpret the ideas of Shima and Hoff. Busicom's management agreed to the new proposal. The architecture and specifications of the four chips were designed over a period of a few months in 1969, between an Intel team led by Hoff and a Busycom team led by Shima, after Shima went back to Japan in late 1969 and then returned to Intel in early 1970, he found that no further work had been done on the 4004 since he left, and that Hoff was no longer working on the project. The project leader had become Federico Fagan, who had only joined Intel a week before Shima arrived. After explaining the project to Fagan, Shima worked with him to design the 4004 processor, with Shima responsible for the chip's logic. The chip's final design was completed in 1970 by Intel's Federico Fagan and Musicom's Masato Shishima. The Intel 4004 was commercially released in 1971, first as part of the Busycom 141 PF calculator and then separately by Intel. The 4004 was also used in other Busycom machines, including an automated teller machine ATM and cash register. The microprocessor became the basis for microcomputers, which led to the microcomputer revolution. NEC released the MU PD-707 and MU PD-708, a two-chip 4-bit microprocessor CPU, in 1971. They were followed by NEC's first single-chip microprocessor, the MU PD-700, in April 1972, a prototype for the MUCOM-4 MU PD-751, released in April 1973, combining the MU PD-707 and MU PD-708 into a single microprocessor. In 1973, Toshiba developed the TLCS-12, the world's first 12-bit microprocessor. The project began in 1971, when Toshiba began developing a microprocessor for Ford Motor Company's Electronic Engine Control project, which went on to utilize Toshiba's 12-bit microprocessor. 8-bit to 32-bit microprocessors Masato Shishima joined Intel in 1972. The Intel 8080, released in 1974, was the first general-purpose microprocessor. The 8-bit Intel 8080 was designed by Federico Fagan and Masato Shishima. Shima was employed to implement the transistor-level logic of the 8080. In 1975, Shima joined Zilog, where he designed the Zilog Z80 released in 1976 and the Zilog Z8000 released in 1979. After returning to Japan, Shima founded the Intel Japan Design Center in 1980 and VM Technology Corporation in 1986. At VM, he developed the 16-bit microprocessor VM860 and 32-bit microprocessor VM8600 for the Japanese word processor market. He became a professor at the University of Izu in 2000. In 1975, Panafacum, a conglomeration of Fujitsu, Fuji Electric and Matusta developed the first commercial 16-bit single-chip microprocessor, the MN1610. According to Fujitsu, it was, "...the world's first 16-bit microcomputer on a single chip." 
In the early 1990s, engineers at Hitachi found ways to compress RISC instruction sets so they fit in even smaller memory systems than CISC instruction sets. They developed a compressed instruction set for their super series of microprocessors, introduced in 1992. The super instruction set was later adapted for the ARM architecture's thumb instruction set. Compressed instructions appeared in the ARM architecture, after ARM Holdings licensed super patents as a basis for its thumb instruction set. Peripheral chips While working for Intel in the 1970s, Masatoshi Shima designed a number of Intel peripheral chips. Some of his peripheral chips were used in the IBM PC, including the Intel 8259 Interrupt Controller, 8255 Parallel Port Chip, 8253 Timer Chip, 8257 DMA Chip, and 8251 Serial Communication USART Chip. Microcomputers The first microcomputer was Sword Computer Corporation's SMP8008. It was developed in 1972, using the 8 bit Intel 8008 microprocessor, which it was developed in tandem with. The first personal computers based on the Intel 8080 were the Sword SMP80 X series, released in 1974. They were the first microcomputers with an operating system. The SMP80 X series marked a major leap toward the popularization of microcomputers. In 1977, Panafacom released an early 16-bit microcomputer, the LKIT-16, based on the 16-bit Panafacom MN1610 microprocessor they developed in 1975. Home Computer said Computer Corporation's M200 Smart Home Computer, released in 1977, was one of the first home computers. It was an early desktop computer that combined a Zilog Z80 CPU, keyboard, court display, floppy disk drive and MF-DOS operating system into an integrated unit. The Sword M223 Mark VI, introduced in 1979, was an early personal computer to come standard with a built-in hard disk drive. Yash Terakura's team at Commodore Japan was responsible for designing the Color Pet in 1979 and the Vic 20, Vic 1001, in 1980. In 1981, the Commodore Max machine was developed by a team led by Yashi Terakura at Commodore Japan in 1981, and was a predecessor to the popular Commodore 64. Also in 1981, Terakura designed the Commodore 64, along with Shiraz Shivi. In 1982, NEC introduced the PC-9800 series, which went on to sell 18 million units. 3D Computer Graphics An early example of 3D computer graphics software for personal computers is 3D Art Graphics, a set of 3D computer graphics effects, written by Kazumasa Mitazawa and released in June 1978 for the Apple II home computer. The first implementation of real time 3D ray tracing was the Lynx 1 computer graphics system, built in 1982 at Osaka University's School of Engineering, by Professors Omura Kuichi, Shirakawa IS. SAO and Kawata Toru with 50 students. It was a massively parallel processing computer system with 514 microprocessors, used for rendering realistic 3D graphics with high-speed ray tracing. According to the Information Processing Society of Japan, by developing a new software methodology specifically for high-speed image rendering, Lynx-1 was able to rapidly render highly realistic images. It was used to create the world's first 3D planetarium-like video of the entire heavens that was made completely with computer graphics. The video was presented at the Fujitsu Pavilion at the 1985 International Exposition in Tsukuba. Music Macro Language In 1978, Japanese personal computers such as the Sharp MZ and Hitachi Basic Master were capable of digital synthesis, which were sequenced using Music Macro Language This was used to produce chiptune video game music. Graphics Processing Unit GPU, the NEC Micro PD-7220, also known as the 7220, was the first true graphics processing unit GPU, designed as a microprocessor, with VLSI, the first implementation of a graphics processor as a single large-scale integration LSI integrated circuit chip. 
This enabled the design of low-cost, high-performance video graphics cards, such as those from No. 9 Visual Technology, and was the basis for clones such as the Intel 82720. The 7220 project was started in 1979, and a paper was published in 1981. It debuted in Japan with NEC's PC-9800 series of personal computers in 1982, and then released independently. The 7220 had a fill rate of 1.25 megapixels per second and a rasterization rate of 125 polygons 100 pixel by 100 pixel per second, faster than central processing units CPU at the time. The 7220's high-resolution color graphics led NEC to market it as a resolution revolution. By 1983, it was used in NEC's APC computers, and other computers from Digital Equipment Corporation and Wong Laboratories. The 7220 and its clones led the early GPU market for several years, and was still the best known GPU in 1986. It was eventually surpassed by the more powerful Hitachi HD 63484A CRTC, released in 1984. Laptops Yukio Yokozawa, an employee for Suwa Seikosha, a branch of Seiko, now Seiko Epson, invented the first laptop notebook computer in July 1980, receiving a patent for the invention. Seiko's notebook computer, known as the HC20 in Japan, was announced in 1981. In North America, Epson introduced it as the Epson HX20 in 1981, at the COMDEX Computer Show in Las Vegas, where it drew significant attention for its portability. It had a mass market release in July 1982, as the HC20 in Japan and as the Epson HX20 in North America. It was the first notebook-sized handheld computer mobile device, the size of an A4 notebook and weighing 1.6 kg In 1983, the Sharp PC-5000 and Ampere WS1 laptops from Japan featured a modern clamshell design. FM Synthesis and Midithe Yamaha GS1, the first commercial FM digital synthesizer, released in 1980, was programmed using a proprietary Yamaha computer, which at the time was only available at Yamaha's headquarters in Japan Hamamatsu and the United States Buena Park. .It was not until the advent of MIDI in 1983 that general-purpose computers started to play a key role in mainstream music production. In 1982, the NEC PC-88 and PC-98 computers introduced MIDI support. MSX and Yamaha Modulus In 1983, the Yamaha CX-5 MSX computer and Yamaha MSX modules introduced FM synthesis and MIDI sequencing to the MSX personal computer, including MIDI software with capabilities such as synthesizing and sequencing sounds and rhythms. They provided synthesis, composition tools, and a four track MIDI sequencer, available on different cartridges. The Yamaha CX5M is an MSX based personal computer, specializing in music and sound production. It was originally released as the CX5 in 1983, before being upgraded to the CX5M in 1984. The CX5 was a YIS-303 MSX computer with a built-in SKW-01 sound module, while the CX5M was a YIS-503 diabolic MSX computer with a built-in SFG-01 FM sound synthesizer unit sound module. The CX5M was marketed as an electronic musical instrument, and was one of the most anticipated electronic music products of 1984. It expands upon the normal features expected from these systems with a built-in 8 voice FM synthesizer module, manufactured by Yamaha Corporation, along with a MIDI interface. It came with graphical music software for digital synthesis and a sequencing, capable of synthesizing and sequencing sounds and rhythms, with its internal FM synthesizer or external MIDI devices. 
It provided synthesis, composition tools, and a four track MIDI sequencer, available on different cartridges. The SFG 01 FM sound synthesizer unit, released in 1983, uses several chips, including a Yamaha YM2151 FM sound chip, YM3012 stereo DAC, YM2210 MIDI communications chip, YM2148 keyboard scanning chip, and YM2148 MIDI UART. It also has stereo audio outputs, an input for a purpose-built four-octave keyboard, and a pair of MIDI input-output ports. It had limited MIDI support on the original CX-5M model, with only management of data from a Yamaha DX7 digital synthesizer. The YIS-303, CX-5, YIS-503 and CX-5M computers could be upgraded with the SFG-01 FM Sound Synthesizer Unit 2 sound module, released in 1984, featuring an upgraded Yamaha YM2164 sound chip and full MIDI support, which could be used for normal MIDI. The SFG-05 module came integrated with the second CX-5M revision, the CX-5M2. Music software were released on MSX cartridges, including YRM-101, YRM-11 FM Music Composer, YRM-102, YRM-12 FM Voicing Program, YRM-103, YRM-13 DX7 Voicing Program, YRM-104, YRM-15 Yamaha FM Music Macro, YRM 105 DX9 Voicing Program, YRM 301 MIDI Recorder, YRM 301, YRM 302 RX Editor, YRM 303 MIDI Macro and Monitor, YRM 304 TX7 Voicing Program, YRM 305 DX21 Voicing Program, YRM 501 FM Music Composer 2, YRM 502 FM Voicing Program, YRM 504 4 Yamaha FM Music Macro 2, and YRM 506 FB01 Voicing Program. Later, Yamaha released the Yamaha FB01 MIDI module, which was effectively an SFG05 in a standalone, portable case. FB01 is an independent Z80 microprocessor system that sends and receives data from YM2164. The FB01 was released in 1986. Sound cards and sound modules in 1983, Roland Corporation's CMU800 sound module introduced music synthesis and sequencing to the PC, Apple II, and Commodore 64. The spread of MIDI on computers was facilitated by Roland Corporation's MPU401, released in 1984. It was the first MIDI equipped PC sound card, capable of MIDI sound processing and sequencing. After Roland sold MPU sound chips to other sound card manufacturers, it established a universal standard MIDI to PC interface. The widespread adoption of MIDI led to computer-based MIDI software being developed. In 1987, Roland introduced LA Synthesis to the computer music market, with the Roland MT32 MIDI sound module. USB-A group of several companies began the development of USB in 1994, including Japanese company NEC. Topic displays Cathode ray tube caught in 1924, Kenjiro Takayanagi began a research program on electronic television. In 1925, he demonstrated a cathode ray tube caught television with thermal electron emission. In 1926, he demonstrated a court television with 40 line resolution, the first working example of a fully electronic television receiver. In 1927, he increased the television resolution to 100 lines, which was unrivaled until 1931. In 1928, he was the first to transmit human faces in half tones on television, influencing the later work of Vladimir K. Zwerikin. Aperture grille is one of the two major court display technologies, along with the older shadow mask. Aperture grille was introduced by Sony with their Trinitron television in 1968. The Trinitron television was invented by Sony's Susumu Yoshida in 1968. In 1970, Panasonic released the first handheld television, small enough to fit in a large pocket, the Panasonic ICTV model TR001. It featured a 1.5-inch display, along with a 1.5-inch speaker. 
Liquid crystal display LCD, LCD displays incorporating thin film and transistors were demonstrated in 1970 by J. Kishimoto from Canon and Katsumi Yamamura from Suwa Seikosha Seiko, and further developed by Sharp Corporation in 1976. In 1977, a TFT LCD, thin film transistor LCD display was demonstrated by a sharp team consisting of Kohei Kishi, Hirosaku Nonomura, Keiichiro Shimizu and Tomio Wada. The LCD color display was invented by Sharp's Shinji Kato and Takaaki Miyazaki in May 1975, and then improved by Fumiaki Funada and Masataka Matsura in December 1975. The first LCD televisions were invented as color handheld televisions in Japan. In 1980, Hartori Seiko's R&D group began development on pocket LCD color televisions, which led to the release of the first commercial TFT LCD displays by three of its subsidiaries. In 1982, Seiko Epson released the first LCD television, the Epson TV Watch, a wristwatch equipped with an active matrix LCD television. In 1983, Casio released a handheld LCD television, the Casio TV-10. In 1984, Epson released the ET-10, the first full-color, pocket LCD television. Seiko Hartori subsidiary Citizen Watch introduced the Citizen Pocket TV, a color TFT LCD handheld television, with a 2.7-inch display, in 1984. By 1985, two other Seiko Hartori subsidiaries had also introduced TFT LCD handheld televisions, with Seiko's Color Micro TV and the Epson ELF. High Definition Television HDTV, as Japanese consumer electronics firms forged ahead with the development of HDTV technology, and as the Muse format proposed by NHK, a Japanese company, was seen as a paysetter that threatened to eclipse U.S. electronics companies. Muse, the development of which began in the 1970s, was a hybrid system with analog and digital features. Until 1990, the Japanese Muse standard was the front-runner among the more than 23 different technical concepts under consideration. Widescreen widescreen televisions date back to the 1970s, when Japan's NHK introduced the Muse high-definition television system, which was soon backed by Sony and other Japanese television manufacturers. LCD watches Tetsuro Hama and Izuhiko Nishimura of Seiko received a U.S. patent dated February 1971 for an electronic wristwatch incorporating a TN LCD display. Sharp Corporation mass produced TN LCD displays for watches in 1975. Large LCD Display Sharp Corporation developed the first large LCD displays in 1986, based on color TFT LCD technology. In 1988, Sharp introduced the first commercial large LCD television, a 14 inches TFT LCD model with active matrix addressing. The release of Sharp's large LCD TV in 1988 led to Japan launching an LCD industry, which developed large size LCD displays, including TFT computer monitors and LCD televisions. Plasmathe World's first color plasma display was produced by Fujitsu and released in 1989. LCD Projectorception developed the 3 LCD color projection technology in the 1980s, and licensed it for use in LCD projectors in 1988. The first color LCD video projectors were Epson's Compact 3 LCD-based VPJ700, released in January 1989, and an LCD color video projector released by Sharp Corporation in 1989. Epson's 3 LCD technology went on to be adopted by about 40 different projector brands worldwide. LED backlit LCD The world's first LED backlit LCD television was Sony's Qualia 005, released in 2004. Topic: Electronics. The barium titanate, barium titanate, was discovered by Tiogawa in 1943. Junichi Nishizawa invented ion implantation in 1950, neodymium magnets were invented independently in 1982 by General Motors and Sumitomo Special Metals. 
it is the most widely used type of rare earth magnet. Transistors and thyristors In 1950, the static induction transistor was invented by Junichi Nishizawa and Y. Watanabe. It was the first type of JFET junction gate field effect transistor, with a short channel length. In 1971, Junichi Nishizawa invented the static induction thyristor. Diodeth pin diode, photodiode was invented by Junichi Nishizawa and his colleagues in 1950. This was the basis for the laser diode. In 1952, Nishizawa invented the avalanche photodiode. Nishizawa also introduced tunnel injection in 1958, and invented the varicap variable capacitance diode in 1959. Lasers in 1955, Junichi Nishizawa invented the first solid-state maser. In 1957, Nishizawa invented the semiconductor laser, and discovered semiconductor inductance. The continuous wave semiconductor laser was invented by Izo Hayashi and Morton B. Panish in 1970. This led directly to the light sources in fiber optic communication, laser printers, barcode readers, and optical disk drives, technologies that were commercialized by Japanese entrepreneurs. In 1992, Japanese inventor Shuji Nakamura invented the first efficient blue laser, blue LED. Nakamura invented it with Isamu Akasaki and Hiroshi Amano, for which the three of them were awarded the 2014 Nobel Prize in Physics, stating that it enabled bright and energy-saving white light sources", for applications such as LED lamps. Digital Fax The first digital fax machine was the Decom Rapid Fax, first sold in the late 1960s. Automated Teller Machine ATM, the idea of an automated teller machine ATM, for out-of-hours cash distribution, developed from bankers' needs in Japan. The Japanese device was called computer loan machine", and supplied cash as a three-month loan at 5% p.a., after inserting a credit card. The device was operational in 1966. The first microprocessor-based ATM machines were released by Busycom in the early 1970s, using the Intel 4004 co-designed by Busycom's Masato Shishima. Games The first handheld electronic game was Electro Tic Tac Toe, released by Japanese manufacturer Waco in 1972. The first color video game was the 1973 arcade game Playtron, developed by Japanese company Casco, Kansai Seiki Saizaku Shoko, which only manufactured two cabinets of the game. The first video game to represent player characters as human sprite images was Taito's Basketball, which was licensed in February 1974 to Midway, releasing it as TV Basketball in North America. Tomohiro Nishikado's arcade racing video game Speed Race, released by Taito in 1974, introduced scrolling graphics, where the sprites move along a vertical scrolling overhead track. The first microprocessor-driven video game was the arcade game Gun Fight, from Taito and Midway Games in 1975. It was originally a shooter game, Western Gun, developed by Taito's Tomohiro Nishikado, using the Fujitsu MB14241 video shifter to accelerate the drawing of sprite graphics. The first tile-based video game was Namco's arcade game Galaxian 1979. It debuted the Namco Galaxy and Arcade System Board, which used specialized graphics hardware, supporting RGB color and introducing multi-colored sprites, tilemap backgrounds, a sprite line buffer system, and scrolling graphics. The Namco Galaxy and hardware was widely adopted by other arcade game manufacturers during the golden age of arcade video games, including Century, Gremlin, IREM, Konami, Midway, Nikobutsu, Sega and Taito. It also inspired Nintendo's hardware for Radar Scope and Donkey Kong as well as the Nintendo Entertainment System home console. Hardware sprite graphics was introduced by Namco's Pac-Man 1980 with the Namco Pac-Man hardware. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Instruments. 
Japanese electronic musical instruments were important to the development of electronic music and electronic dance music, such as the Roland TR-808 and TR-909 drum machines, the Roland TB-303 bass synth, and the Technics SL-1200 direct drive turntable. Electronic organ Yamaha engineer Mr. Yamashita invented the Yamaha Magna organ in 1935. It was an electrostatic reed organ, a multi-timbral keyboard instrument based on electrically blown free reeds with pickups. Electronic drum at NAM 1964, Japanese company Ace Tone revealed the R1 Rhythm Ace, the first fully transistorized electronic drum instrument. Created by Akutaro Kakehashi, who later founded Roland Corporation, the R1 was a hand-operated percussion device that played electronic drum sounds manually as the user pushed buttons, in a similar fashion to modern electronic drum pads. Since the 1970s, a number of Japanese companies began selling popular electronic drum kits, notably Roland's Octopad and V-Drums, and Yamaha's electronic Yamaha Drums and Yamaha DTX series. In 1997, Roland introduced its TD-10 model, a sound module for its V-drums. Rhythm Machines drum machines In 1963, Kyo Gikan released their first rhythm machine, Donka Matic Dar 20, using vacuum tube circuits for sounds and mechanical wheel for rhythm patterns. It was a floor-type machine with built sand speaker, and featuring a keyboard for the manual play, in addition to the multiple automatic rhythm patterns. Its price was comparable with the average annual income of Japanese at that time. Their efforts were then focused on the improvement of reliability and performance, along with the size reduction and the cost down. Unstable vacuum tube circuit was replaced with reliable transistor circuitry on Donkomatic DC-11 in the mid-1960s, and in 1966, bulky mechanical wheels were also replaced with compact transistor circuitry on Donkomatic D20 and D11. In 1967, Korg Mini Pops MP2 was developed as an option of the Yamaha Electone electronic organ, and Mini Pops was established as a series of compact desktop rhythm machines. Nippon Columbia received a 1965 patent for an electronic automatic rhythm machine instrument. It described it as an automatic rhythm player which is simple but capable of electronically producing various rhythms in the characteristic tones of a drum, a piccolo and so on." At around the same time, Korg also introduced transistor circuitry for their Donkomatic DC-11 electronic drum machine, sometime between 1963 and 1966. The Korg Mini Pops MP2, MP5 and MP7 were released in 1967. Korg's Stageman and Mini Pops series of drum machines, introduced in 1967, were notable for natural metallic percussion sounds and incorporating controls for drum breaks and fill ins. The smaller MP5 had 10 preset rhythms, while the larger MP7 had 20 preset rhythms. Both had controls for tone, tempo, and volume, while the MP7 also had dedicated faders for adding Ouijada, Guiro, and Tambourine. The controls allowed the user to press more than one preset to combine rhythms. One notable use of a mini pops drum machine was by French musician Jean-Michel Jarre, in the final part of his breakthrough album, Oxygen 1976. This rhythm was achieved by overlaying two of the presets. He also used it for his 1978 album Aquinix. The Donkomatic is also referenced in Gorillaz. 2010, as the result of their robustness and compact size, rhythm machines were gradually installed on electronic organs as accompaniment of organists, and finally spread widely. Ace tone drum machines found their way into popular music starting in the late 1960s, followed by Korg and Roland drum machines in the early 1970s. The first major pop song to use a drum machine was Saved by the Bell by Robin Gibb, which reached number two in Britain in 1969. It used a slow rock rhythm preset on Ace Tone's FR1 Rhythm Ace. The German Krautrock band can also used a drum machine on their song Peking O 1971, which combined acoustic drumming with Ace Tone's Rhythm Ace drum machine. 
The first album on which a drum machine produced all the percussion was Kingdom Comes Journey, recorded in November 1972 using Ace Tone's Bentley Rhythm Ace. Timmy Thomas's 1972 R&B single Why Can't We Live Together, Funky Me featured a distinctive use of a Roland drum machine and keyboard arrangement on both tracks. George McRae's 1974 disco hit Rock Your Baby used a drum machine, an early Roland rhythm machine. Effects pedals The Uni Vibe, also known as Jack's Vibra Chorus, is a footpedal operated phaser or phase shifter for creating chorus and vibrato simulations for electric organ or guitar. Designed by audio engineer Fumio Mida, it was introduced in the 1960s by Japanese company Shin A, and then released in North America by Univox in 1968. The pedals soon became favorite effects pedals of rock guitarists Jimi Hendrix and Robin Trower. In 1976, Roland subsidiary Boss Corporation released the CE1 Chorus Ensemble, which was a standalone unit of the chorus vibrato circuit found in the Roland JC120 amplifier. The chorus circuit from the amp was put it into a stomp box, making the CE1 the first chorus pedal. The chorus pedal went on to become a standard effects unit among guitarists. Boss effects units subsequently became the de facto standard of guitar effects for decades, with many guitarists relying on them for sonic experimentation. Boss Corporation's DD2 Digital Delay, released in 1983, was the world's first digital delay effects unit in stomp box form. It uses a custom integrated circuit IC chip that was originally developed for Roland Corporation's SDE 3000 rack delay unit. It was succeeded by the DD3 digital delay in 1986. Boss Corporation's RV2 digital reverb, released in 1987, was the world's first digital reverb pedal. It used a new custom DSP processor developed by Boss, originally for the RRV10 digital reverb in the Micro Rack series. Analog synthesizer Yamaha developed an early multi voice polyphonic synthesizer, the Yamaha GX1, in 1973. In 1974, Roland Corporation released the EP30, the first touch sensitive electronic keyboard. Roland released an early polyphonic string synthesizer, the Roland-202 Rupees, in 1975, followed by the Roland-202 Rupees in 1976. Digital synthesizers in 1973, Yamaha licensed the algorithms for frequency modulation synthesis FM synthesis from John Chowning, who had experimented with it at Stanford University since 1971. Yamaha's engineers began adapting Chowning's algorithm for use in a commercial digital synthesizer, adding improvements such as the key scaling method to avoid the introduction of distortion that normally occurred in analog systems during frequency modulation. In the 1970s, Yamaha were granted a number of patents, under the company's former name Nippon Gaki Seizo Kabushiki Kaisha, evolving Chowning's early work on FM synthesis technology. Yamaha built the first prototype digital synthesizer in 1974, released in 1979. The Casio VL1 was the first commercial digital synthesizer, selling for $69.95. The first commercial FM digital synthesizer was the Yamaha GS1 in 1980. The mainstream breakthrough for digital synthesis came with the 1983 release of the FM based Yamaha DX7 one of the best-selling synthesizers of all time. Vowel consonant synthesis is a type of hybrid digital analog synthesis developed by Casio and first employed by the early Casiotone keyboards in the early 1980s. Sequencer in the early 1970s, Ralph Dyke, a Canadian composer and technologist, developed a prototype digital music sequencer, based on TTL digital circuitry, shift register memory, and single-channel audio. There were no North American companies interested in his prototype, until Japanese company Roland Corporation took an interest in it. Roland founder Akutaro Kakehashi saw the prototype, and decided to build a digital sequencer based on his prototype, making a number of major changes. Kakehashi decided to replace the TTL circuit E with a microprocessor, replace the small shift register memory with larger RAM memory, and increase the audio channels from a single channel to eight channels. 
As Dyke was generally unfamiliar with how to use a microprocessor for a sequencer, Kakehashi hired Yukio Tamada to design and build a microprocessor-based sequencer. Roland switched from discrete circuitry to the then brand new Intel 8080A 8-bit microprocessor and increased the memory from 512 bytes shift register memory to 16 kilobytes RAM memory, allowing storage of over 5300 notes, which could be entered via the calculator keyboard, the preferred method, or recorded in real time, not so easy. In 1977, Roland Corporation released the MC8 Microcomposer, also called a computer music composer by Roland. It was the first standalone, microprocessor-based, digital CV, gate music sequencer, and an early polyphonic sequencer. It introduced new features, such as a keypad to enter note information, 16 kilobytes of random access memory which allowed a maximum sequence length of 5,200 notes, a huge step forward from the 8 to 16 step sequences at the time, the allocation of multiple pitch CVs to a single gate channel, creating polyphonic parts within the overall sequence, and 8 channel polyphony, allowing the creation of polyrhythmic sequences, the swingy funk element present throughout the Japanese synth-pop album Yellow Magic Orchestra 1978 was expressed by Hideki Matsutake programming through subtle variations of the MC8's input. Giorgio Moroda was another early commercial user of the MC8, having used it from the late 1970s to the 1980s. Other notable users include Yuichi Sakamoto, Altered Images, Chris Carter, Suzanne Ciani, Chris and Cozy, Craftwork, Landscape, The Human League, Martin Rushant, Pete Shelley, Tangerine Dream, Richard James Burgess, Vince Clark, Throbbing Gristle, ISAO Tometer, Toto, Yellow Magic Orchestra, and Hans Zimmer. The MC8 was the first in the microcomposer family of sequences, including the Roland MC4 microcomposer and Roland MC202. The Roland MC8 had a significant impact on electronic music, with the MC8 and its descendants having more of an impact on electronic music production in the 1970s and 1980s than any other family of sequences. CV, gate sequences such as the MC8 and MC4 were eventually succeeded by MIDI sequences in the 1980s. The Microcomposer series continued with grooveboxes, including the Roland MC202 (1983), MC303 (1996), MC505 (1998), MC09 (1999), MC307 (1999), MC909 (2002), and MC808 (2006). Programmable drum machines step sequences prior to Akutaro Kakehashi's founding of Roland Corporation in 1972, Kakehashi had discussed the idea of a programmable drum machine while at Ace Tone, sometime between 1967 and 1972. In 1975, Ace Tone released the rhythm producer FR15 that enables the modification of the pre-programmed rhythm patterns. 1978 saw the release of the Roland County Route 78, the first microprocessor programmable rhythm machine, with four memory banks to store user patterns, and controls for accents and muting. Its combination of programmability and familiar preset rhythms made it popular from the late 1970s to the early 1980s, widely adopted by artists such as Blondie, Phil Collins, Ultravox, Underworld, Fatboy Slim, BT, Gary Newman, 808 State, Peter Gabriel, Hall & Oates, Jimmy Edgar, Genesis, Uberzone, Brian Ferry, Men Without Hats, John Fox and OMD, the Roland TR-808, released in 1980, was the first drum machine with the ability to program an entire percussion track of a song from beginning to end, complete with breaks and rolls. It also includes volume knobs for each voice, and has bass drum decay controls that could lengthen the sound to create uniquely low frequencies which flatten over long periods, which can be used to create bass lines or bass drops. The TR-808 became one of the most influential inventions in popular music, used on more hit records than any other drum machine, and shaping genres such as dance, electronic, hip-hop and pop music. Bass synthesizer sequencer's first bass synthesizer with a music sequencer was the first Man SQ-01. 
It was originally released in 1980 by Hillwood, Firstman, a Japanese synthesizer company founded in 1972 by Kazuo Morioka who later worked for Akai in the early 1980s, and was then released by Multivox for North America in 1981. The most influential bass synthesizer sequencer was the Roland TB-303, released in 1981, later becoming the basis of Acid House Music. Digital Control Bus DCB and DIN Syncing 1980, Roland Corporation introduced the Digital Control Bus DCB communications protocol, using the DIN Sync interface to synchronize different electronic musical instruments. It was introduced with the Roland TR-808 in 1980, considered groundbreaking at the time, followed by other Roland equipment in 1981. It was the precursor to MIDI, which adopted most of its features from the DCB protocol, including the same type of connectors as the DIN Sync interface. DCB was introduced in 1980 with the Roland TR-808, followed by other Roland equipment, including the County Route 8000, TR-606, TB-303, EP-6060, Jupiter-8, and Juno-60. It uses DIN sync connectors, and DCB functions were basically the same as MIDI, which it was the basis for. DIN sync was introduced by Roland Corporation for the synchronization of music sequences, drum machines, arpeggiators, and similar devices, as part of the Digital Control Bus Protocol. It was introduced in 1980 with the Roland TR-808, followed by other Roland equipment in 1981, including the County Route 8000, TR-606, TB-303 and EP-6060. It was the basis for the MIDI interface, released in 1983, which eventually superseded it. DIN Sync was also adopted by non-Roland instruments, such as Lin Electronics Lindrum. MIDI musical instrument digital interface in 1981, Roland founder Akutaro Kakehashi proposed the concept of standardization to Oberheim Electronics, Sequential Circuits, Yamaha, Korg and Kawai. A common MIDI standard was developed, working with Roland's pre-existing DCB as a basis, by Roland, Yamaha, Korg, Kawai, and Sequential Circuits. MIDI was publicly announced in 1982. MIDI allowed communication between different instruments and general-purpose computers to play a role in music production. Since its introduction, MIDI has remained the musical instrument industry standard interface through to the present day. Kakehashi received the 2013 Technical Grammy Award for the invention of MIDI. PCM Sampler The first PCM digital sampler was Toshiba's LMD649, created in 1981 by engineer Kenji Murata for Japanese electronic music band Yellow Magic Orchestra, who used it for extensive sampling and looping in their 1981 album Technodelic. MIDI instruments The first MIDI synthesizers were the Roland Jupiter 6 and the Prophet 600, both released in 1982. The first MIDI sequencer was Roland Corporation's MSQ-700, released in 1983. Sequential Circuits CEO Dave Smith demonstrated MIDI by connecting the Prophet 600 to a Jupiter 6 during the January 1983 Winter NAM show, while the Roland TR-808 was fully based on analog synthesis, the Roland TR-909, released in 1983, combined analog synthesis with digital sampling. It was also the first MIDI drum machine. Much like the TR-808's importance to hip-hop, the TR-909 holds a similar importance for electronic dance music, such as techno and house music. For example, the seminal deep house track, Can You Feel It? 1986 was produced using the Roland Juno 60 polyphonic synthesizer for the bass line and the TR-909 rhythm machine for the drumline. USB drum MIDI controllers are often designed to resemble popular classic drum machines such as the Roland TR-808 and Akai MPC. Groovebox Roland MC202, released in 1983, was the first Groovebox. The term, Groovebox was later coined by Roland Corporation in reference to its successor, the Roland MC-303, released in 1996. Wind synths from the mid-1980s, Akai developed a range of wind synths. 
Their EWI-1000 wind controller and EV-1000 valve controller, like the Lyricon, were paired with a dedicated analog, voltage-controlled voice module, the EWV-2000. The EWV-2000 had no MIDI in, though it did have MIDI out. The EWI-1000, EWV-2000 pair were actually a hybrid digital, analog system. Analog signals were derived from the various sensors e.g., key, byte, bend, etc. on the EWI-1000 controller unit, then converted to digital signals by a front-end microprocessor in the EWV-2000. These digital signals were then altered by the microprocessor and D.A. converted to internal analog control voltages appropriate for the analog synthesizer ICs within the EWV-2000. The D.A. used within the EWV-2000 used a very high resolution and conversion rate, such that the responsiveness to the player felt immediate, i.e., analog. The subsequent EWI-3000 and EWI-3020 systems also used this A, D, A scheme within their dedicated tone modules, though these later models of the EWI would support MIDI in and out. Linear arithmetic synthesis Linear arithmetic synthesis LA synthesis is a type of sound synthesis invented by Roland Corporation, introduced with the Roland D50 synthesizer in 1987. LA synthesis was since used by a number of other Roland equipment, such as the MT32 sound module in 1987 and the E20 synthesizer in 1988. The Roland D50 is a polyphonic 61-key digital synthesizer, produced by Roland and released in 1987. Its features include linear arithmetic synthesis, onboard effects, a joystick for data manipulation, and an analog synthesis-styled layout design. It was also produced in a rack mount variant design, the D550 with almost 450 user-adjustable parameters. The D50 saw widespread use in popular music, with a distinctive sound that largely defined popular late 1980s music. Today, the D50 is still highly popular as affordable vintage synth. It has the highest score by users of all synths at Vintagesynth. The D50 was the first affordable synthesizer to combine sample playback with digital synthesis, a process that Roland called linear arithmetic synthesis. Topic: <laughs> Memory. Magnetic disks fat may have been the first floppy disk or magnetic disk sheet was invented by Yoshiro Nakamatsu at the Tokyo Imperial University in 1950. He received a Japanese patent in 1952, and a 1958 American patent, for a magnetic disc record sheet. Nippon Columbia planned to commercialize his magnetic disc sheet recorder in 1960. He licensed a number of patents to IBM, reaching licensing agreements with them in the 1970s. Sony introduced the 3.5 inch floppy disc format, called the micro floppy disc. The first commercial micro floppy disk drive was the Sony OAD-30V, released in 1981. Sony's initial 3.5-inch floppy disk format was dual-sided and held 875 kilobytes of data storage. In 1990, Toshiba's MK1122FC was the first hard disk drive to use a glass hard disk drive platter, replacing the earlier aluminium platters. Glass platters had several advantages, such as greater shock resistance, compared to aluminium platter. Random Access Memory RAM, the Toshiba Toskal BC1411 electronic calculator, which debuted in 1965, introduced an early form of dynamic random access memory DRAM, built from discrete components. By 1986, NEC and AMD were manufacturing 32 kilobytes of RAM, video RAM chips, compared to Texas Instruments which were manufacturing 8 kilobytes of RAM chips at the time. Optical Discs to Compact Disc CD format was developed by Sony and Philips in 1979, and commercially released in 1982. The CD-ROM format was developed by Japanese company Denon in 1982. It was an extension of Compact Disc Digital Audio, and adapted the format to hold any form of digital data, with a storage capacity of 553 MB. 
CD-ROM was then introduced by Denon and Sony at a Japanese computer show in 1984. In 1984, Sony introduced a Laserdisc format that could store any form of digital data as a data storage device similar to CD-ROM with a larger capacity of 3.28 gigabytes. The DVD format was developed by Sony, Panasonic and Toshiba in 1994. The same year, Sony and Tatung Company released the first DVD player. Flash memory Flash memory both NOR and NAND types was invented by Dr. Fujio Masuoka while working for Toshiba around 1980. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Video. Videotaped R. Norikazu Sorazaki invented a prototype video tape recorder in 1953, based on helical scan technology. Video Dis in Japan, the TOSBAC computer was using digital video discs to display color pictures at 256 by 256 image resolution in 1972. In 1975, Hitachi introduced a video disc system in which chrominance, luminance, and sound information were encoded holographically. Each frame was recorded as a 1 mm diameter hologram on a 305 mm disc, while a laser beam read out the hologram from three angles. In 1978, Hitachi invented a digital video storage system, which they received a patent for. In the late 1970s to the early 1980s, several types of video production equipment that were digital in their internal workings were introduced, including digital video effects (DVE) units such as the Nippon Electric Corporation (NEC) DVE. Topic: Other. Artificial snowflake The first artificial snowflake was created by Japanese physicist Yukichiro Nakaya in 1936, three years after his first attempt. Rollerball pen The first rollerball pen was invented in 1963 by the Japanese company Otto. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Film 